Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69, welcome back to the channel and what I think is the sexiest tank in the game. Yes, it is the STB1. Now, with this camouflage, it, this was one of the first camouflages in the game, one of the first legendary camouflages. I think the IS-7 uh, was first, and then the Adamant here in on the STB was second, but I always thought it was first, but someone said the IS-7 uh, the IS was first. So, But it's uh, one of the first of the legendary camouflages, and when Wargaming introduced this camouflage into the game, it's just look how sexy this tank is um the tank is sexy enough without the camouflage but with the camouflage it just makes it look like an absolute beast it really does i think this is one it's definitely the best looking tank in the game it's a great tank as well um it doesn't have armor and it doesn't quite have the dpm like the other mediums in in tier 10 uh, but what it does have is speed gun depression and a very very nice turret if you can this is basically like like a pattern used to be and well like a pattern still is it's basically a ridgeline tank if you can get on a ridgeline then you can just you can just pump up a lot of damage obviously dependent on the team a map like this then yeah it is kind of hard to pump up that damage uh, and it's kind of hard to get the da uh, get the bounces because on a flat surface the this tank isn't the best and it doesn't have that dpm the dpm isn't as great as most of the other uh, tanks uh, medium tanks in tier 10 it's not far off to be honest it is still sitting around uh, everything else but just not quite as much um but you can see the the, the tank itself is very nice it really is and not it do it's not just looks it doesn't just look nice it plays nice it feels nice uh, and just overall I, I love the STB and I think people can perform well in this tank played right uh, but most most people will perform well in this tank on a ridgeline uh, because if you look at the turret when you're on a ridgeline using the, the sort of the 10 degrees of gun depression then the turret is red as hell and especially if the tank is moving backwards and forwards you might as well not shoot it because you're not going to be able to, to penetrate it so those of you that don't know the story of myself and the stb1 um, I used to hate this tank, but I used to hate it, but love it. It's like a Marmite tank for me uh, back in the day because everyone's got their kind of goals in, in the game. Everyone's got their goals that they want to achieve or what they want to complete. And my goal for a very long time was to get an ace in every single tank that I've got or that I've at least played. Um, so I did manage to do that. Uh, so I eventually I had 100% aces. I had sort of like 420 tanks played and 420 tanks aced. Uh, so I literally aced everything that I'd played, almost every single tank in the game. In fact, when I got the aces, I had every single ace in the game and every single tank obviously obviously i don't have all those now i'm missing tanks i'm missing the uh, the fearless uh, the lorraine fearless and i don't have some aces in some certain tanks because you know i've completed the goal once um and I, you know to keep that goal is very very difficult especially as there's a tank every single month month with the battle pass and and so on and i'm testing as well so i've kind of just laid low from from that at the moment uh because it's something i've done once you know i achieved the goal that i want to achieve aced every tank that i, I had in the game and of course wargaming just then decided to put more tanks into the game um but this one this tank right here was very annoying now mostly it's if you play tier 10 or if i play tier 10 if i played a tank for just all day or just one tank without changing i reckon i could get an ace in this tank within say 20 battles say 20 battles now i'd probably if i played a single tank doesn't matter what tank in tier 10 if i played a single tank for about 20 games i would probably guarantee one ace um and that is what it's always been for me it's always been that however the stb1 was like yeah fuck you meadsy you're not doing it so i average sort of an ace every 20 games or so but the STB, the STB was a nightmare for me, and I don't know why. Even though I absolutely loved the tank, there was nothing wrong with the tank, there was nothing I was really doing wrong with the tank, it took me a total of 850 battles to ace this tank. It was really a bad luck tank for me, and I don't know why. And I'm talking, I was getting 6,500 games that was first classes, and I'm like, how? 
how is this a first class? And I think Wargamer was just like, yeah, you know what? You're not having that ace. They stole my ace because they knew how much it was affecting me and how frustrated I was getting of this tank. And to the point, the clan I was in at the time, Phoenix, were just acing their STBs and they would always send me ace their aces. And even today, people in my in GNA, if they ace the STB, they would message me like, ha, I got, I got an ace in the STB. Even though I've aced it many times, times now um but yeah they still wind me up today and people still question me so how many times did it how many battles did it take for you to, to ace the stb and my answer is literally just like fuck off stop winding me up um but yeah i don't know why i really don't know why this was a cursed tank for me to the point i even sold it and rebought it back just to you know i had to try things and i thought you know what maybe if i resell if i sell the tank and then take it uh, buy it back again it would trick the system and uh let me get the ace i was trying all different camouflages as well i was taking off the legendary camouflage i was putting on stupid camouflages because i really wanted just something to help me and i thought you know what maybe it's the camouflage that's giving me bad luck but of course that was all for jokes uh but finally i aced the stb and it was one of the best days of my life uh but it was still frustrating because the fact that i was doing six thousand almost seven thousand games and only getting a first class i actually aced it on supremacy in a three thousand game and i didn't really do anything but more to the point the tank itself if you haven't grinded the STB, I mean, right now, people will probably think like there's no reason really to grind the STB over other tanks. And unfortunately, that, that is kind of true because, I mean, if you want a tank, um, if you want a medium tank in tier 10 that's got uh, that's got a bit of everything. I mean, yes, this tank's got a turret, but so is the pattern. The pattern's got a very strong turret, and now the pattern has gun depression and it has DPM. It's got 3,500 DPM. Uh, so you would probably choose the pattern over the STB now. If you want, if you want. Um, speed then you'd probably go for something like the leopard one which is the highest dpm tank in the game um it doesn't have the armor profile but neither does the stb it literally has a turret and that is it or if you want dpm you would go for something like a t62 or an object 140 so looking at the other mediums if you want a super strong heavy you'd go for the e50m so it is kind of sad that the stb is such a great tank but looking at it on paper there is really no reason why people would choose this tank over everything else but other than that it is still a fantastic tank it still needs the love and of course most importantly it is a sexy looking tank hope you enjoyed the video guys i'm meezy69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye